All right, what is up, guys? So, uh, we did a little trading. We ended up getting rid of one dirt bike. We still have this one. We still have the old trail bike. So, you know, we're missing the Suzuki. We ended up trading it for this uh, 2003 CR125 that the carburetor was overflowing with gas, and that was about it. The subframe was bent. But, uh,. We're a little late on the uh, the upload here. I've done it's been probably two weeks. I've had it two weeks now. I got it. It starts, runs really well. You can kind of tell it's low on compression, but I have a piston that should be here today for it. So we're gonna swap that out today. But uh, we've took it to the track, rode it at the track. That was pretty sweet. It ran really good. I up the jets, jetted a little rich. So stay in the. You know, stay in the throttle, not blow it up. And uh, I was having fun on it, honestly. I thought a 125 would be too small for me, but it's an absolute blast. I love it. Which I still have my 250 that, you know, doesn't really compare. The 250 has a little bit more power, but this is so much fun to ride. And I, I really like it. So, uh, the only thing that happened was the last lap. It, you know, it was almost closing time. My throttle cable snapped, but... I've got a new clutch throttle cable. We got a new top end coming for it. We've got some jets to jet to carburetor, really good. I had to put a new or I got a used tire and put on the back, which isn't bad. The subframe's already been swapped out. You know, I didn't take the camera with me on the trip because I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. You know, I didn't know if the dude was gonna trade. He was being iffy. Second gear was out on the Suzuki after I put it all back. Swap bottom ends. Cause the other one the case was busted and uh swap bottom ends i got off ebay second gear was out on that trans dude sent me a transmission i gotta mail it off to the guy that i traded i drove six hours or so for this down there and then six hours back Alright, so we got it all apart now. Went fairly well, fairly easy. It's a two stroke. I mean, what do you expect? But uh, I'm waiting on FedEx to come with the new piston and gasket set. Unfortunately, my throttle cable and clutch cable and stuff didn't come in today, so maybe it'll come in tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow too. Hopefully, the old lady will let me out and about to get to come over and play with this. But the piston didn't look bad, and the cylinder don't look bad at all I don't think my power valve was hooked up though like it either it just come apart but nah I don't think it was hooked up which is weird so uh yeah that's a little off but I don't, I don't know why that wouldn't be hooked up I guess I don't know to be honest it's kinda weird but alright so we get the new piston in finally uh yeah I've got it on the rod already on the crank, <clears throat> man, that thing's beautiful compared to the old one. The old one don't even look that bad either, so I can't complain too bad. I forgot to get antifreeze. I went and rode the uh, 250s, not over here right now. We went and rode for like three hours earlier because I got tired of waiting on FedEx, and I didn't even get my throttle cable, which sucks because I won't be able to, I mean, I might be able to start it. I might not. I mean, I could start it without it, but I, I, I'd hate to put it all together and have to pull it all back apart tomorrow, but I might. But yeah, that thing's sweet. It's going together fairly well. Everything's matched up. We got it most, I mean, the plastics and seat and stuff isn't bolted down, so these white number plates might fall off here in just a second. Got it all back together and whatnot, all fluted up. All the fluids in it, my carb's leaking, I see that. But, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to try to start it for the first start after the top end rebuild. It should fire right up. We shouldn't have no problems.
So it's all put back together now. New top end, new spark plug, jetted, new throttle cable, new clutch cable, new seat cover. It's a, a pretty good bike. I'm not going to lie. I rode it around a little bit last night. Got to go for a little rip now. Still breaking it in. You know, the manual says 15 miles or something like that. So, got a couple miles left before 15 miles. But, uh, it's actually really good. I really like it a lot. I don't know. I kind of like, like it more than the 250 over there. And then you got the XR 250. But, I don't know. That's still my baby too. But, I don't know. This right here sure is a little fun bike. I can't wait to actually ride it, ride it once it's broke in. And, uh, yeah, first kick every time. It's pretty sweet. So I'm going to end this video here with the CR125. So, back on a two-stroke. It's good to have a two-stroke. we got five gallons of mix over here. Sorry about my messy floor. but So, expect some videos of, uh, you know, riding the 125, whatnot. Maybe exploring. This is going to be the, the trail bike. Having fun on it. And that's going to be what I'm racing. I'm going to race the 250. I'm not going to compete with this. Maybe. But we found a track pretty close too. So maybe you can get some track videos. I should have took the GoPro when we went the other day. But maybe I can get another one. Take the old lady and have her do some uh, third person filming. That would be pretty sweet. I guess until the next one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. And if you love Hondas as much as me definitely subscribe because it's all red here.